Hey everybody, I'm Tom and this is Pack Opening Addict. Today we are going to open a couple boxes of Commander Legends. Uh, we are all quite familiar with this set, I'm sure, at this point. You know, the big gem being the Jeweled Lotus. But a lot of other really great cards too, like your Mana Crits and your Vampiric Tutors and your Hull Breachers and even your Jessica's Will or Keepers of the Accord. So this set has a lot of fantastic pulls in it and frankly, it looks like it's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, the Commander format altogether is a format I definitely wish was around 15, 20 years ago when I primarily played this game. You know, generally through the Dark through Revised period, and then on through the Urza block. Uh, this would have been just a lot of fun with your friends, getting together, having some fun, having it be a little bit less on the who can beat who in a record time. So... Let's open these packs and then see how we do today. Now, a lot of talk, of course, on the Jeweled Lotus and as far as the MTG Finance side of things. The, you know, yes, it is not the Black Lotus. You know, that is 100% true. Um, the, a lot of talk is, well, if you don't get it early on, then it's worthless. Well, same kind of went for the Black Lotus, though. So if you grab that thing, you know, 20 sets in or 20 picks in, all right, good first pull there, Underground Stadium. Not bad, the Battlebound lands are, are very useful. Keep that one aside. And then as far as our legendaries, Kanji and Glacian. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool in a uh, foil fire diamond. That's pretty neat. Put those to the side. So anyway, back to the deal with the Jeweled Lotus. So. Bringing out your commander early and in record speed very much seems like that would be almost game-breaking and a giant difference on whether or not you're going to be able to ramp up quickly on the, on the board. So I can see why that card is both loved and hated, as since it is very format-dependent. Oh, okay. Archon of Coronation for the first Mythic. Okay, not quite what we want to see, but not bad. So then the Halana and Tago as our uh, legendaries. Oh, and a Foil Court of Cunning. Okay, okay, not bad. So, of course, early on, everybody, or I should say a lot of people were predicting that, oh, Jewel Lotus, $20 card. Well, it does not appear so. It appears very much is going to be a $70 plus card because everybody wants several in their decks. But even if it decides to Jewel Lotus, you know, I'd love to see a Mana Drain. I don't know what it is, but from all the videos I have watched, I'm going to skip through a lot of the commons on here. Um, you know, we've seen them. They're fine. I'm just going to throw them off to the side. But, oh, sweet God. Well, that was a quick. Good pick, uh, good pick there with the Vampiric Tutor. Very, very nice. Check that out. Nice. Okay. Okay. And then Colfinor. Okay. So then we got another rare in the set. Okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, so we're off the bat there. Vampiric Tutor, perfect card to throw in any, of course, mono black deck, but that could go perfectly in your blue black, red black, pretty much you name it. You could throw that card in there, it'll do a fantastic job. All right, skip through the commons again. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker now. So, face fetter, sweet, Arcane Signet, probably one of the best uncommons in the set outside of Soul Ring. Yeah. Craft Judge and Flamekin Herald. Okay, well, you got to get some poor rares. Balthus. Oh, sweet. And a Rumi. That's a, that's a pretty sweet uh, little uncommon uh, merfolk there. It's nice. Okay. So, as far as all this goes, you know, I want to give an unfortunate thanks to certain channels like Alpha Investments and Open Boosters and Tolarian Community College. Having not really played in a long time, and then unfortunately having their videos pop up back in my timeline, it made me have the thirst to open up boxes again. So here we are, opening up boxes again for the first time in a long time. There is a, a lot of fun. Elvish Dreadlord, not exactly the greatest rare you could pull. Rebek and Rograth. Cool. All right. Anyway, so... Opening boxes, of course, is very much gambling. You know, the expected values, what you might actually pull out of them. 
it may or may not equal what you get. And some people, you know, struggle with handling the reality of the, of the fact that this is all random. What you're going to pull is what you're going to pull. But part of that is the fun. Oh, laboratory drudge. Okay. Part of that is the fun. You know, some people want to bet on sports. Some people want to gamble on the ponies. Some people want to go play blackjack or go to the casino for other reasons. And some people just want to open some magic cards. All right. Your lock. Ah, oh, sweet. And then one of the foil etched bruised tarl. Those are really cool looking cards. Okay. All right. Not bad so far. Not bad. Let's see what else we can do here. Okay. Comments, comments, comments. Okay. There's some knowledge. Rings of Brightheart. That is fantastic. Nice. Another good pull. This set, I'm telling you. Yeah, you can have a you can have some pulls that are not so great, but a lot of very playable cards. It's awesome. Okay. You know, I'm gonna put that over in the good pile of rares. Okay. And then Tuya and Elena. And then a strength of the pack. Okay. And a little golden card goes away. Okay. Alright. On to the next. So I would love to pull out of here if I can get one of each of the land cycle. That would be pretty cool. So that way I can have those. So let's see. Next pack, next pack. Okay. Codex Shredder. Uh, Imperius Perfect. I remember when that used to just be an absolutely devastating card. Okay. Revenant and Court of Ire. Okay. And then Slurk and Elegeth. Okay, so another rare. Okay, and nothing out of the foil spot. Okay. All right. And next. Ripping packs is still one of the most satisfying things in these hobbies. Okay. All right. So, kind of still looking for a soul ring out of the uncommon spot. Love to see one, but... Open the Armory, an Ordeal of Nyla. And Sakashima's Protégé for the rare, unfortunately. Okay. Kanji and Arden and nothing. Okay. Next pack. So excuse my poor piling. Give me a little sloppy here. There we go. Eh, nope. Maybe not. Okay. Now we got a pack that doesn't want to open. Okay. If it doesn't want to open, is that a good sign? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Common, common, commons. Okay. Okay. Golem Artisan. Volcanic Torrent. Demonic Lore. Okay. And Nevenral's Disc. Ugh, I feel like there's two to three of these in like every box of this that you open. You know... It is a powerful card, but does anybody even play with this anymore? I felt like it was powerful back in the 4th edition days, and that was about it. Okay. Kedits. Oh, sweet. To veg that. All right. So we got the, you know, Planeswalker, one of the two in the set. Okay. And Nightshade Harvester for the foil rare. Not what you want to see out of the foil rare spot. Okay. Start to organize in my piles. Forgot to that that is in fact a mythic. Okay. So three mythics out of the box so far. That is not too shabby. Okay. And uncommons. Here we go. So humble deflector. Interpret the signs. Brass herald. Eh. Bio waste blob. Ugh. Okay. Keleth. Rev. Fall from favor. All right. So kind of a poor pack, but I guess we just had a good pack, so that's going to happen. Okay. I think that's the fourth Vampiric Tutor I've pulled so far out of uh, 
six boxes, which is something. I have not seen a, a mana drain yet. And like I was saying, based off all the YouTube videos, I've long wondered, is mana drain actually rarer than a lot of the other mythics? It does seem like that. Okay, Siren Storm. Okay, Sunset Pyramid. Confiscate. Okay, and Keeper of the Accord. All right, solid rare, solid rare. Radiant Sarah Angel. Keskith. And then Foil Rupture Spire. Okay. So, as far as this goes with 24 packs in the box, that was a fine pack. I'll take a Keeper of the Accord. I always did like to splash white in decks. Hence the uh, mat underneath. All right. Open Armory. Golem Artisan. Sifter Worm. Actually, you haven't even seen this one yet. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> All right. I haven't gotten one of these yet. Apex Devastator. I, I just love the ridiculousness of this, especially in a multiplayer format. Yeah, you could just cycle through so many, so many of your cards um, and just completely have a fun turn. That is a cool card. All right. Ghost Ramirez and Sengir Dark Baron. Okay. And then the Foil Fates Fetters. Cool. Okay. I'm going to organize my piles a little ne less cross handed next time. All right, common, common, commons. Ghostline Marauder, Shimmer Mirror, and Noxus Dragon. All right, we've got land number two, Vault of Champions. Cool, okay. Kedis, Rebek, and nothing, okay. So far, pretty good, pretty good. Still hoping for that mana drain. Would love to see that. Wouldn't mind seeing another Jeweled Lotus, of course, but love to see something I haven't seen yet. All right. Orzhov, Advocist, Pen and Blade. Sweet, three visits. That is a fantastic reprint in this set, and I definitely want a place out of that. And number three of the lands. Cool, spectator seating. All right. Okay. Then we got Thalas, Thalys. Bell Borka and Scab Goliath. Okay. Okay. Let me straighten up the piles. Oops. Okay. I don't even know what pack I'm on. I should be counting this down. Okay. All right. Lightning Crew Rig, Horizon Scholar, Strength of the Pack. Still not finding that Soul Ring. Okay. And then Aurora Phoenix for the rare. Ooh, great. Abomination of Lana War. That's actually a pretty cool card. Prava of the Steel Legion. Has anybody ever played a Cat Soldier deck? Ever? Like, why is this a thing? Sky Whaler Shot, Prismatic Piper. And nothing. Okay. All right. Kind of a busted pack there. And on to the next. Okay. Common, common, commons. Command tower. Fantastic common. Okay. So we got make a stand. Sting fling spider. Pride of the Perfect. Command Beacon. Cool. That's a good rare. Okay. Essior. And Nostro. Um, that card seems tricky, to say the least. Okay, Champion of the Flame, Prismatic Piper. All okay. right. So not bad. Not bad there with the Command Beacon. I'll take one of those. I don't actually have one of those yet. Okay. All right, common, common, common. 
All right, Valid Duty, Frenzied Saddle Brute, Thought Vessel. Very nice. There we go. Great card. Very usable. Love it. Okay. And Kamal's Will. Okay. Doesn't uh, doesn't seem to be really popular, but it does feel like the kind of card that I probably would have played with. Right. Armix. And Gen. Okay. Not the best of the legendary creatures. But we did get a foil etched Rayev. So that's kind of cool. Okay. All right, next pack. Common Commons. All right. So we got Warden of Evo Sile, Fencing Ace, Guildless Commons, and Dawn Glade Reject. Uh -huh. Great. Ictek Salvage Splicer and Dargo the Shipwrecked. Okay, and then nothing out of the foil slot. Okay, so far though, we've done pretty well. We had a couple bad packs. I actually think we're coming to the end of the first box here. Let me actually give it a quick look here. All right, so as far as the first box goes, looks like I've got four packs left after this. All right. Command Spear, nice. Okay. Burnished Heart, Meteoric Maze, Mask of Memory, Blade Griff Prototype. Okay. Then we got Numa, Jorga Chieftain, seems like a pretty cool card in an elf deck, and Miara, Thorn of the Glade. And nothing, nothing. Okay. Big money, big money, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Oh, another hard to open one. There we go. Nice. Ingenuity Engine. It's a cool card. Um, the artwork, as has been called out before, it's really cool how you can really pick out a lot of the most famous artifacts inside the game, inside of that picture. Okay. Explosion of Riches. Now there's Nightblade. Opposition Agent. Nice. That is a great card. I mean, taking basically control of your opponent's turn is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, I can't even imagine that played in an actual game. I would love to, and I kind of want to give it a shot. So that one, let's put that over in the good pile there. We got Malcolm. Not here. And nothing. All right, pack number 22 of the first box. Okay, come, come, come in. So Supreme Will, Hunter's Insight, Merchant Raiders, Body of Knowledge. I do think that's a cool card. Um, obviously it's not sought after, but uh, I do think that's really neat. Blim. Comedic genius, okay. Yep. And we got good old Jared Carthillion. You know, looks straight out of a romance novel. Howling Golem and Prismatic Piper, okay. So from my understanding, the Prismatic Pipers show up every six packs or so. So that way during draft, you always have one available to you. All right, this video is going on a little longer than I actually thought it would. But I should have expected that with two boxes open. Okay. We got Vow Flight, Patron of the Valiant, Reclamation Sage, Austere Command. Cool card. Obviously not worth anything, but cool card. Jury, Master of the Review, Tormod, the Desecrator. I have to say that was one of the biggest shocks of this set uh, from picking it up for the first time in a long time is all the names that you see, and then having a card of them, like Tormod, like Nevenral. It's, it's really neat, it's really neat. Okay. 
And last pack of the first box. I would say this first box has been a success. Okay. All right. So we got Vow of Wilderness, Sandstone Oracle, Guilt Thief, Winnelor, Court of Grace. Okay. Court of Grace is a cool card. Um, I, I do think it's one of the nicer courts uh, when you really look at what it does every turn. I think popping up tokens and potential 4-4 four, four Flying Angels is pretty cool. Siani, Eye of the Storm, and Lafiel. Okay. And nothing. All right. So first box done. Let's head into the second box now. And then hopefully we'll see that Mana Drainer, that Jeweled Lotus. That would be great. Not that I'm going to complain about that last box. You know, getting Vampiric Tutor, Opposition Agent, Three of the Lands, Apex Devastator, Tevez Sath. That's a good pull. That has that is, that is turned out to be a really good box. Okay. All right. Okay. Fathom, Fleet Sword Jack, Demonic Lore, and Monstrous Onslaught. Training Center. All right. So we got four of the five, I think it is, in. Okay. Brinlin. And another Rograth. It's cool to see Kobolds after all these times. I wonder what kind of deck makes use of that uh, of that ability to have all those keywords, but a zero one one that obviously needs to be pumped up to, to be able to use. So I'm intrigued by what kind of deck would use that card, but I could probably see that being pretty darned awesome. Okay. Humble Deflector. Revenant. Brass Herald. Root Weaver Druid. Okay. And Elena, Cassic Trapper, and Sklurk, another ooze. And Coastline Marauder. Look at, when you really look at that card, it looks very faded. That's one thing I'll say about the foils in this set. Um, I've done a couple boxes of the collector's sets, and I feel like half the cards come out just awful looking. They're faded. Besides the, the Pringling problem, you know, I, I had sent a complaint to Wizards and they just brushed it off as, well, that's just the way they are and that's just too bad. I didn't expect anything else out of them because um, it's a, apparently a known issue. So it sounds like that they know that you're buying it. And uh, if you are buying it, you should know that that's the problem and that's just the way it is. Wrong turn. I, I, I think that's a cool card. Um, Keep that. Hey, another Rograth. All right. And Anara. Ketsail Corsair. Okay. So, as far as the quality of some of those, yeah, it's not great. Having said that, I did pull a foiled Jewel, uh, jewel Lotus, which does seem to look just fine and does seem to not be pringling up immediately. So, maybe they just did that with a lot of the commons and uncommons since they're, you know, they know that they're. Trash bin type cards. Okay, Monstrous Outlaw Slot and Nadir's Nightblade. Scroll Rack! <laughs> uh, Tempest was uh, by far my favorite set until Kamigawa Block. Um, so Tempest and Kamigawa Block definitely battle with myself and my favorite sets ever created. Um, Scroll Rack, I never owned one. I, I never had one with all the Tempest I had bought back then. Um, I had multiple of many other rares, but I never, ever pulled a scroll, scroll rack at that time. That's really cool. That's really cool. All right. So that was Mythic number one in the box. We got Arden and Ishtek. Maelstrom Colossus, Prismatic Piper. Okay. All right. So not bad to start box two with a training center and a scroll rack. Let's see what else we can bring. All right, another Ingenuity Engine. Explosion of Riches. Lore Seeker Seeker Stone. Okay. Promise of Tomorrow. Okay. I know not popular because uh, nobody likes to play white. Gore Muldrak. Uh, this card's silly. Um, I, I, you know, it makes everybody a salamander warrior, and then all your creatures are uh, immune to salamanders. 
Um, I could see that being a fun card to abuse, um, but it, it certainly is something that's different. Oh, cool. All right. So we got a foil. Sorry, we got a uh, foil etched Numa. All right. Okay. Otherwise, pack. That pack wasn't exactly the strongest pack. Okay. Ah, I miss that feeling. Ripping packs, throwing them away. Okay. okay. Scholar of the Ages. First response. Slaughter of Strong. Slaughter of the Strong. Staff of Domination. Cool. Strong card. I know that used to be uh, crazy expensive to get, and then reprints happen. But that makes the game more accessible, so there is that. Galandra and Emoti. Cool. I like Emoti. Okay. As a person who did often play Green Blue, I could have definitely have seen myself playing with Emoti. Okay. All right. And are we going to pull any mythics out of this box? Pack. All right, so we got to interpret the signs. Intangible virtue. Volcano torrent. Wheel of misfortune. Um, since Wheel of Fortune is so incredibly popular in this format, hey, let's print something that's completely different, but incredibly nutty. Yeah, that's cool. It's a cool card. All right. Keleth. Rayev, and Scrounging Bandar. All right, Prismatic Pipe. That keeps getting me with that card that's behind the other card because you actually get an extra card in those Prismatic Piper packs. So then I keep thinking, oh, is this something special? No, no, it's Prismatic Piper. Just hanging out, just saying hi. Okay. Angelic Armament. Scaled Behemoth. I haven't seen one of those yet. Yep, just big monster that's uh, hexproof. Lord Seeker's Lord Seeker Stone. Profane Transfusion. That is wild. And unfortunately, that's a mythic. Okay. Arden. And Archelos. Okay, the Turtle Wizard. Cool. And Tuya. Okay. All right, so this box is not trending quite as well as the first box. Not gonna complain yet as Scroll Rack is a strong pull. But still got picks, let's see. All right, we're starting getting a lot of duplication here. Codex Shredder, Reclamation Sage, Meteor Golem, Amphin Mutineer, great. Essior and Averna. An anointer of valid for the foil. Bus pack. My common pile is starting to fall over a little bit. Okay. Commander Spirit, cool. All right. Return to Dust. Cool. Vow of Torment. Dreamstone Hedron. Hull Breacher. Awesome. Cool. Dig that. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to put that in the good rares. I'm going to put that with the mythics. Captain Vargas and Nevenral. Neat. It's really cool. Okay. An Elvish Visionary for the foil uh, common. Okay. So I wonder what foil rare or maybe mythic I'm going to get out of this pack. It does seem that you do get one foil, at least a rare, out of every box. So you kind of hope that it's not on something that is just awful. All right, make a stand. Burnished heart. Three visits. Cool. So my second one. Soul of Eternity. Cool card. I would have played with it. Tuya. And Zara. Sweet. Foil preordain. It's pretty nice. Okay. All right. I wouldn't call that a bad pack, although it didn't bring the financial power, but it did bring cool playable cards. Okay. 
All right. Don't fail me here, Peck. Okay. Common, common, commons. Commons, commons. Okay, uncommons. Got Darren Saboteur. Strength of the pack again. I think that's what my eighth or seventh one. Sunset Pyramid. Blasphemous Act. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't. I did not expect that. All right. So we got a Sakashima of the Thousand Faces. Awesome. Awesome. I think this uh, box just got redeemed. <laughs> and a Kodama of the East Tree. Oh man. Okay. We are well on our way to a solid box opening on the second box. You know, and that's what's amazing. That's how quickly that turns, isn't it? It's just all of a sudden, opening packs, think you're doing terribly. And then all of a sudden you get a pack with three nice cards inside of it. Pretty nice. Okay. All right, come, come, commons. Fate's Fetters. I still have the original versions of these. I always kept them in my sideboard. Pen and Blade, Noxus Dragon, Nightshade Harvester, okay. Rebecca, Hans Ericsson, okay. and Common Nothing, okay. All right, so it looks like we have right about, this is the halfway point, nope, just past the halfway point, okay. All right, commons. Let's get rid of those commons. Okay. Meteoric Mace. Skilled Animator. Pride of the Perfect. Triumphant Reckoning for a Mythic. Now, well, not the Mythic you want to pull. Strong Effect. Huge Casting Cost. Okay, Numa And Miara. Oh! Hey, all right. Did not expect that. We got a foil wheel of misfortune. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. So so far, first box, call that a definite winner. Second box has been solid. It's been a, it's been a solid box. Okay. Lightning crew. Lightning rig crew. Supreme will. I don't think I've seen this one. Okay. Oh, I have to say, I really like these cards that give you multiple choices of what you want to use it for. So just a complete utility card. That's pretty nice. Okay. Imperious Perfect and Port Razor for another Mythic. Really cool card. Obviously, it doesn't exactly blow up the, the world, but uh, I think that's a really strong effect. Um, if I played more red, I, I have the fun with it, especially with something like a Lightning Greaves attached or something like that. Abomination of Llanowar, Prava, blah. and Volcan Volcanic Torrent. Okay. Hey, Salamander Warrior. Because you needed tokens for that before this set. Thank you, Gore Maldrak, for making that a thing. Vow of Lightning, Shimmer Mirror, Sifter Worm, Just Cause Will, cool, strong card, another one of those choice cards, um, you know, as far as the wills go, this one definitely brings heat, this one definitely brings the heat, this is a powerful card, Hamza, and Kittis, Impulsive Pilferer, cool, great, get out, all right, good pack, so what are we on? We're on eight packs left now. Run times are at 34 minutes right now. I'm sure everybody turned it off that has possibly watched so far, but thank you for having watched. Um, I'm not exactly good at this, but I'm enjoying it. This is a good time. Okay. Thirst Knowledge. Fencing Ace. Merchant Raiders. And we got the complete group. Rejuvenating Springs. Cool. Glarana, Gilrana, Dargo, and a foil keeper of the Accord. Okay, not bad, not bad. 
All right, another good pack, another good box. I think I can officially call this box a good box now. Okay, and we still have, so this is pack seven left. Commander Spear, okay. Orzov Advocist. Thought Vessel, cool. Hunter's Insight. War Room. Okay. Armix. Malcolm. And what's behind that? And nothing. Okay. And six packs left. We're going to make a new one common pile. Current one's toppling over. Okay. Kanji's Lieutenant. Ordeal of Nayla, Nyla, Mask of Memory, Court of Bounty. Um, I think the only court left to get is the Court of uh, the Court of Ambition. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Jury, Master of the Review, and that card is now lightly played. We'll see what that is in a sec. Doesn't matter. I'll hire you. Five packs left. Right. Vow of Wildness. Coastline Marauders. Guilt Leaf Winnower. Horizon Stone. Okay, neat card. Nadir, Agent of the Duskinel. And Obeka, cool. Obeka is a sweet card. Okay. And Sky Diamond foil for our foil common. That's awesome. Reprints of the Mirage cards, new artwork. It's awesome. Okay. All right, four packs left. Got a small mess here going on of pack wrappers everywhere. Let's chuck them anywhere. There we go. Mindless Automaton, Burning Anger, Feast of Secession, Slash the Ranks, yeah. Breaches, Brazen Plunderer, oh cool, Kamal, awesome. So put that over in the Mythics, and then Burnished Heart Foil, okay. All right, three packs left. Let's see if we can get one more really nice hit in there. But overall, I'll still call it a strong box. Okay. All right. Null color. Sandstone Oracle. Cast down. Plague Reaver. Eh, nope, not what we wanted to see. Siani. Kark the Thumbless. Okay, I always wondered back in Mirrodin uh, block what Krark, who Krark was and why his thumb was an artifact. And then here we go. We got him. Yeah. And studded captain or squad captain. Two packs left. Okay. Come on, just one more cool thing. Horizon Scholar, Grafted War Gear, Patron of the Valiant, Sweet Grum Recluse. Great. The Lease, and Tago. Tago is pretty cool, I have to admit. Uh, the making of the little rocks that you can sacrifice and throw two damage at things is pretty cool. Renegade Tactics. Okay, one pack left. Let's see how we do. I will say at this point, with the all the mythics that we have pulled, I'm not going to have high hopes for it, but still a solid box opening. Okay. Bow of Flight, Hero's Blade, Sting Fling Spider, and the last one of the box. Oh, 
happening. Zat's will. That was anticlimactic. Okay. Then Lisa and Belb. Okay, so at least a couple of the legendary foils. All right. And with that, a whole lot of nothing. So, good box opening. It's a good time. Um, going forward, my next video does plan to be four Double Masters VIP opening. So I look forward to opening those and posting it. Please leave a comment. Call me an idiot. Say I'm terrible at this. I appreciate that. Uh, and, you know, if you want to subscribe, that's cool. If you don't, that's cool too. All right, until next time. Bye.